With the little information released about Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, the question as to whether new Mega Evolutions might appear is yet to be known. But it's alright, because wouldn't it be even cooler to guess and hope for some new ones? Well, with that, let's look at the top 10 Pokemon that should Mega Evolve in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire when it's released someday in the future. I don't know when. I think it's like November, maybe. Yeah. Number 10, Flygon. The beauty and serene green of Flygon takes its mark at number 10. I never liked broccoli as a kid, but as I grew older, it started to taste better. This isn't a metaphor, I just like broccoli now. Flygon was such a cool dragon. The first ground dragon type combo was a big hit in the third generation. However, he flew under the radar as other dragons like Dragonite, Salamence, and even non-dragons like Tyranitar overshadowed him in popularity. The addition of Garchomp in the next generation really didn't help his case. Flygon was one of the most interesting looking dragons. He had this sort of buggy look to him, which made him very unique compared to all the sort of standard looking dragons. And probably made him the most different one as well. With a Mega Evolution, his design can become even cooler and will make him a lot more well known. Number 9, Crawdunt. Crawdunt has a very cool design. I would be willing to put him as one of the coolest water types, I think. There's just so many good looking water types. They're so beautiful. But anyways, Crawdon looks like a beast. A strong crustacean just waiting to wreck things. I want him to wreck more things with an upgrade. Number 8, Claydol. Claydol was a mysterious Pokemon and a very interesting one at that. The artifact Pokemon. Well, I know it's actually the Clay Doll Pokemon, but it reminds me of the artifact from the first Paper Mario, so there, take that. Mega Evolutions were a mysterious kind of evolution, and Clay Doll seems like the perfect fit to receive one. In addition to that, Clay Doll looks kind of like a container. Now I want to see what kind of destructive Pokemon is underneath all those layers of clay. Number 7, Melodic. Melodic was a tough opponent. Fighting in the Elite Four was pretty tough with its moveset and abilities. It was such a rare Pokemon, and the trouble you had to go through to get one was intense. You had to catch a few bats, which took years just to find one, then grow a lot of berries, turn into poffins or fruity cubes or whatever, and then feed it, and finally it would evolve three years later. It was so much work that once you got it, you were just so happy. The evolution to Melodic is such a huge change for the little fish that letting that little, ugly Feebas become even more beautiful and powerful with the Mega Evolution would just be fitting. Number 6, Zangoose. Zangoose is another Pokemon where I feel it was on the verge of being really cool, but just missed the mark. He has a nice design, a nice color scheme, but I feel his height and overall features are lacking. A Mega Evolution would make him more amazing and give him an overall power boost. Number 5, Exploud. Look at him, he's just yelling out Mega Evolutions through all those weird gross holes on his back and his gigantic mouth. He really wants it, he's, he's willing to debate. Exploit had this really tough persona, but he missed that little push. Just that little teensy push. Just to put him in a position of a really, really good Pokemon. Although his design was really cool and nice, he just... He always felt like he was missing something. With the Mega Evolution, Exploud may jump and yell as freely as he pleases. Number 4, Waylord. I... I just want him to get even bigger. Honestly, if Kyogre didn't exist, they should have just made Waylord Mega Evolve into that. I mean, look at... they, they kind of look the same. Kinda. But seriously, Waylord's design is just looks so simple. It's, it's a nice blank canvas for the creators to play around with and make him even bigger. Even bigger. I, I just want a big, really big Pokemon. That's, that's what I'm after here. Number 3, Cacturn. Cacturn was a Pokemon just brimming with personality. He started from this small and lovable Cacnea and evolving to the scary, tormenting Cactus. Cacturn always felt like he was missing something. He was awesome, but didn't feel complete. That seems to be the sort of trend with these top 10 Mega Evolution sorts of things. They always feel like they're just, they're on the verge of greatness, but they're just hitting short. And Cacturn is no exception. Hopefully a Mega Evolution will just give him that extra oomph to showcase his greatness. Cacturn always being that one that a lot of people may have forgotten. There were so many cool grass Pokemon that also overshadowed him, but just that combination of grass and dark made him really, really amazing. 
Hopefully, just hopefully, he gets one. Number 2. Altaria. The Serene Grace, I <laughs> get it, it's a Pokemon ability, of Altaria was amazing. Its design was so nice, the cloud for wings, the light blue color scheme, it was all amazing. Seeing Altaria brought to life in X and Y with the new graphics and the fluid animation really made me remember how cool Altaria was. The problem, however, is that Altaria is still so overshadowed by all the other dragon flying types that it just gets left to the side. I feel a Mega Evolution could make it more unique and give it more recognition. Maybe change its typing, its design, but keep it the same. The clouds were so cool, Nintendo, don't you change that. Maybe then Altaria can reach Cloud 9. <laughs> that's another ability. Number 1. Salamence. I, I know, okay, you're all gonna probably be like, what? I know I just said that all the other dragons were just overshadowed and Mega Evolution should be about, you know, people who just missed the mark. But at the same time, sometimes you just want the really cool guys to get even more cooler. And that's why Salamence is here. I mean, sure he overshadows them, sure he's already popular, but maybe he's overshadowed by Garchomp and Dragonite, you know, you didn't, I just... Alright, I have to go with my gut. Seeing Salamence for the first time gave me that same feeling as seeing Dragonite or Tyranitar in those generations. I, I, I will mention how I know Tyranitar is not a dragon, but he just sort of had the dragon-esque feeling to him. He was the beast from that generation. Salamence was awesome and I loved his design. I, I really do hope they give me a mega evolution to Salamence just to up his swagger and make him even more lovable. Just to... Just to see my friend fly into the distance as a mega evolved Salamence. That would be one of my dreams come true. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this top 10. That's that's where that's um that's that's language for you. I didn't I couldn't think of anything more to say. So here we are awkwardly talking to each other, but I'm sure that's okay. Please make sure to leave a like. And subscribe to see more things. I will be trying to do top 10s more frequently, so hopefully you look forward to that. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. See you guys next time for some more Pokemon top 10s. Or maybe not Pokemon top 10s. It's probably going to be a Pokemon top 10. See you next time.